We are taking off for a test flight on the new Embraer 190 E2. Our test pilot, Tim Würfel, has taken the left seat in the cockpit of the third prototype. On the right seat is Gerson de Anabera Mendes, who was also a part of the crew of the E190 E2 first flight. We are flying from Embraer's Gabriel Peixoto Airport in the state of Sao Paulo. A look inside the cockpit. There are four large flat panel displays in front of the pilots, which can be flexibly configured to show information valuable for each portion of the flight. And now for some maneuvers. Here Tim is testing how the aircraft behaves when he flies a steep curve. The fly-by-wire system in normal mode will ensure that the aircraft stays within a safe envelope. The protections would be gone in direct mode. But no pilot is likely to ever see that in the flight operations. In the next few moments, Tim is reducing speed to a minimum. Thrust is at idle and he is slowly climbing to decelerate. You can follow the speed on the left side of the primary flight display and the climb on the right side. Tim will soon pull the yoke fully aft to lose even more speed. As the aircraft reaches its minimum, the system interferes and drops the nose. You can see the green arrow on the right dropping to indicate we are losing altitude. The stick shaker was kept on the E2 to maintain commonality with the E1, but because of the protection spilled into the fly-by-wire system, it was not actually needed for certification purposes. Certification, by the way, was reached just days after our flight. After we had tested the aircraft in an airspace that was reserved for us near Gaviao Peixoto, we flew the aircraft back to Embraer's main base in San Jose Los Campos. When we get closer to the runway, the factory can be seen on the left. Also, the E2s are built there, and it is only a few more weeks until Norwegian regional carrier Widerö will take its first aircraft from here. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Two hundred. 